It's the eyelash lifting for me. Hey loves, Alicia here, back on your screen with another one. It's been a minute since I've done a podcast favorites video, so I'm back with an updated 2021 faves. Here are my top 21 favorite podcasts, which is crazy to say because I probably listen to a good 100 pods. Like, there's a lot out there. I have a lot to share with you on this list, so let's get right into it. Let's start from the top. Let's go on Spotify and go with 10% Happier. This one is my everything. I listen to it religiously every single week. On Fridays, they have a guided meditation with a guest, which is just the perfect way to ease into the weekend. Their regular episodes are about half an hour to an hour long, and they just have some really in-depth discussions on how to get 10% happier. There's something about getting a little happier in small ways every day instead of this dramatic change your life experience that just seems more realistic and tangible to me, you know? My second favorite pod is the Joe Budden podcast, which is it even going to be a thing since Rory and Maul, where they at? I can't even get into the drama that's going on now, but over the last I would say five to seven years, I've been listening to them every Wednesday and Saturday as they cover world news, current events, the ratchet-ish. It's just been my entertainment. It's where I feel like I'm chilling with the guys and I love them for it. Third would be On Purpose. Now this is a pod that was recommended to me by my friend Lindsay. And this is a pod that I can't believe I live without for so long. Jay Shetty does so well at interviewing and even his solo topics are just done so masterfully. He speaks so well, so succinctly, and he has a really good way of telling a story but making it resonate with you. I just feel like it's perfection in a pod. Four would be Science Versus. When I first discovered Science Versus, what, maybe two years ago, I was addicted. Then I fell out because they started doing Coco too much. Like it was always about the Rona and I was sick of it. I was sick of hearing about it from my friends, then sick of keeping up to date with it because of work, then sick about hearing it on every podcast. And then I was just like, this is my safe haven. I get to learn about everything and anything from Science Versus and now they're covering it too. Thank God they're starting to pull back from all their Rona related topics and they're starting to do some other stuff. They've been doing a couple disgusting things lately like moths, cicadas, and different types of bugs. But now that they're getting back into the swing of no more cocoa related things, I'm so much happier. Earn your happy, which I did mention last year. I love it even more. Questionably awesome is one of my favorite segments. That's the part where they have their listeners send in questions and her and Evans, her as in Lori Harder, if I haven't said it yet, answer these questions and it's just all about women empowerment. Can I say the word? It's women's empowerment. It's women's empowerment meets mindfulness and go get it kind of attitude. I love it, which leads to six. One of my newest favorites, I've been listening to it since say last September, is Brunch and Slay. It's very similar to Lori Harder's Earn Your Happy. In fact, I learned about is her name Amari Amira from Brunch and Slay on her podcast one day and I instantly subscribed. Her podcast is really good, high energy, very encouraging. It's on that woman empowerment tip. It gives me all the girl power vibes without all of the extra ish. I love it. Did I do seven? Yeah. Eight and nine are both news podcasts. Sometimes I like to willfully be blind about what's going on in the world, but most times I wanna stay on top of things, especially world events. And that's why I turn to Today Explained and Front Burner. Front Burner's from CBC, Today Explained is from Vox, and they both cover logistically what's going on in their countries respectively. So Today Explained is usually US related. But of course, from time to time, they cover world news. Same with CBC being that it's Canadian. And I just, I love listening to both. Their voices are very good for podcasting. The topics they cover for the most part give you both sides to a story. So I just feel like I'm learning without being swayed in one way, if you know what I'm saying. Okay, there's Tea Time with Lovely Tea. I love Lovely Tea channel. I find like she takes gossip and makes it thought provoking. There's not a lot of YouTube channels that can do that. A lot of times it's just, this is the tea and this is what's going on. But she always gives you a cautionary tale. And I love that she has the podcast format because sometimes her videos drop and I'm on the go, but I still want to stay plugged in. So that's where I click. 
Let's switch over to Apple Podcasts for a minute because there's three on there that I really love. Actually, more than three. So the first one that I'm absolutely obsessed with besides the Joe Budden podcast is See The Thing Is. One of my favorite co-hosts is no longer on there, but Bridget and Mandy are definitely holding it down. I just like how they bring a woman's touch to the Joe Budden podcast, the Joe Budden network, I should say. Going really airy-fairy with it, the next pod is Spiritual Boss Babe, and you need to be mentally prepared for that. If you're not into the woo-woo, airy-fairy-ish, you're not gonna like it. Same goes for Ancient Wisdom Today. That one is just out of this planet. I think he thinks he's an alien. Maybe he is, I don't know. But you just have to be very open-minded to even get into that one. Just disclaimer. Coming back to planet Earth, and she rises the fuck up is literally what it's called. And I'm just like, I don't know how to feel about that title. But I like her no nonsense. Can I speak today? I love Amanda's no nonsense approach to money manifestation if you follow my vlogs or listen to my pod then you know how i feel about manifestation with that said i can still find a couple gems and major keys in this pod that i think is going to help me not just for money manifestation but just for how i look at and see things you know that i fell off of but definitely need to get back into this carried me through the first half of quarantine and chill was coffee break french So a lot of you don't know, but I used to be bilingual. Used to is the very prominent word in that sentence because my French is very bad. And I was trying to brush up during the pandemic when I was off for six months. because I'm like, why not? I can put it on my resume, right? That didn't really help, but it was really good to listen to the narrative en français, s'il vous plaît, and just kind of get back into that world of the love of languages. Is my French any better? I can't lie. Nope. It is not, but it was just something good to kind of, I almost played school. It'd be like in the morning time, I'd have my croissant and my latte, and then I'd listen to half an hour coffee break French, and I felt already ready to conquer the day of nothing because there was nothing going on during my quarantine. This one is an oldie but a goodie, Freakonomics. Freakonomics Radio is like the pod version of the books that I loved back in the day. Have you read them? They're so Good. I love books like Freakonomics and Malcolm Gladwell books because they just get you thinking about simple things in a complex way or vice versa. I just geek out, okay? Don't judge me. So Freakonomics, they bring on special guests, they bring on specialists, and they talk about topics that you would never even consider would be worth an hour pod but end up being so interesting. Impact theory is really good. So good that I find myself entranced sometimes, pressing pause, then play, then rewinding again, taking notes in the notes app because there are so many hidden gems in every single episode that I feel like if you actually apply it to your life, you're going to see changes. Maybe not overnight, but you will definitely see changes. 10 out of 10, highly recommend. If you're not about news or geeking out, you just want a good laugh to chill with the girls, the Receipts podcast is what you need to tune into. This bod has me howling half the time. The other half the time, I'm just horrified. I'm like, Is this what people actually go through in relationships? For everything I've been through, it doesn't hold a candle on what homegirl sent in. They have a segment called Your Receipts where they read out dilemmas people are going through. I'm just like, ciao, I cannot. I just, some of these things can't even be real for how wild they are. A newer pod, it might not even be a month old at this point, It's called Unexplained. It's very similar to Today Explained, but they talk about the most random things. They spend an hour and at the end, it's still not explained, which is why it's called Unexplained. But I love it so much because it talks about why you smell things, but it's not the same as when you hear or see things. There's not receptors necessarily for a certain type of scent. So how do we all smell the same thing or distinguish it? It's just, I love science, so for me, it's just something that gets my mind thinking, especially when I'm doing redundant things. I don't know, let me know if you feel the same. Another new addition to the list is Audacious with Kion Wolf. She has a way with words. Not only that, you just feel at home when you're listening to her interview others. I find myself laughing until I cry, crying until I laughed feeling all the emotions of the people that she has featured on each episode. They talk about everything. 
there's the comedic aspect, there's the sentimental, there's just the everything. Every episode is different and I like that novelty to it. Maybe I'm biased because she featured me on one of her episodes, I'll link it down below, but I have loved all of her episodes including of course the one I was featured on. I don't know how long this pod's been around for, but I've been going through the archives to listen to some old episodes because the newer ones had me hooked off rip. Blue dope, so good. They interview a lot of entrepreneurs, business owners, and although I'm not either, I just find it so intellectually stimulating. I'm here for it. I like that this pod is not salacious. It's not about who's sleeping with who and who did what last week. It's literally getting to the core of what makes someone successful and satisfied. It's one thing to be what other people aspire to be. It's another thing though, to be content in what you've pursued and want to pursue more and feel fulfilled in that pursuit. So I love Blue Dope for that perspective. A pod that needs to come back right away. I don't know if it was a one season type of thing, but this pod needs to come back. Stat, Invisible Forces. It's like a marketing meets I don't even know what it means, but it's just interesting to me. If you're interested in that type of thing, business, marketing, how we get into the world of buying makeup because of YouTube and that demographic, for example, you want to listen to Invisible Forces. It's very, very, I don't know. I don't even have a word for it. I want to say lightning, but it's not spiritual, so not really. Of course, I saved the best for last. Shameless plug here. Number 21 is, of course, Authentic with Alicia. That would be me. This is a podcast that took me months to create and I don't have any regrets. I am happy I created it during this Rona life we've been living on lockdown. I just feel like it was a perfect outlet. In addition to talking to my YouTube fan, I get way more authentic with it. We talk about things other than Life Lily Blind, which I feel like my channel is mostly about nowadays. I just, it's not just a creative outlet for me. I get to speak more freely about topics. I've talked about trending things. I've talked about esoteric things. I've talked about spiritual things. I've even gone against the law of attraction with <gasps> who would ever do that? Since everyone I know is so big on LOA, I'm the only person. I'm a man alone or woman. Woman alone on an island. Why is this saying a man alone on the island? Anyway. If you want to hear from me, if you want to hear how my mind works and hear some story times about my life and what I've learned, and hopefully it helps you out too, listen to the Authentic with Alicia pod found everywhere you hear podcasts. So that's my 21 top 21 podcast. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, let me know by hitting the like button. Comment down below what your favorite podcasts are. Definitely check out mine if you haven't already. If you have, let me know what your favorite episode is so far. Mine still stands to be my second one, which was expectation versus reality. And as always, thank you so much for hanging out with me. Until next time, stay safe, stay sane, stay blessed. Love and later.